So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that because of the length of the question. Translate word problem strategy is typically used for questions that are four or more lines long. And really the strategy just says, hey, I don't want to read the entire thing from start to finish all at once at least. Instead, I want to read a sentence at a time, make sure I understood what I read, any quantitative information that I read, I want to write that down, translate anything that I can, so that when I'm finished reading, I don't have to go back and reread in order to remind myself of, of uh, important information. So the question starts off by saying, two types of tickets were sold for a concert held at an amphitheater. All right, makes complete sense, two types of tickets. The next sentence says, tickets to sit on a bench during the concert cost $75. All right, so that's my first quantitative information. So I'm going to say bench equals $75. And of course, we know we're talking about tickets. And tickets to sit on the lawn during the concert cost $40. So lawn equals $40. So again, I'm just translating this stuff down or rewriting this down so I don't have to go back and find those details. So next it says, organizers of the concert announced that 350 tickets have been sold and that $19,250 have been raised through ticket sales alone. Okay, so what does that mean? That means they sold 350 tickets. Well, what types of tickets can be sold? Well, we have bench tickets and lawn tickets. So I'm going to say, let's just say X equals bench and Y equals the number of lawn tickets. So therefore, I could say as a translation, X plus Y is equal to 350, right? The number of bench tickets plus the number of lawn tickets must equal 350. Then they go on to tell us how much money was raised, right? So I know that for every bench ticket, if I multiply that by 75 and I add that to 40 times the number of lawn tickets, again, these numbers representing the cost per ticket, then that number should add up to the $19,250. So this was a very key sentence because a lot of translation comes out of reading that sentence. The next sentence says, which of the following systems of equations could be used to find the number of tickets for bench seats B? Okay, so they just went with B, so I'll, I'll make it B, capital B. Let's just make this, let me erase this, erase the X and make it a B. Uh, and I'm assuming, yes, that the Y should be an L. So let's do that. Erase Y here as well. Erase X and Y here as well. So this is now L, L, B, and 40 L. So which of the following systems of equations could be used to find the number of tickets for bench seats B and the number of tickets for lawn seats L that were sold in the concert? Well, funny enough, by translating, we actually already answered that question. Here is our system of equations. So we're just going to find which answer choice matches what we have written down here. So choice A looks like they're multiplying 75B times 40L. So that can't be the case because we know we want to add those two things together. For choice B, we have 40 times B, but really this should be 40 times L, so that's out. For choice C, we have 75B, so that's good. 40L, that's good, but they have equaling 350. That's not true, so C is out. So D has to be the right answer, but let's just check and make sure. So 75B plus 40L equals 19,250, perfect. And we know that the total number of bench tickets plus the number of lawn tickets equals 350. So choice D is the right answer here.